All right. Hi, everybody. I am Matt Tavares. I'm an author and an illustrator. Um, so I spend most of my days here in my studio making books. Um, today I'm going to do a little drawing demonstration and you guys can draw along with me if you want. Um, so get some paper, get maybe a pencil or crayons, anything that you like to draw with. I'm going to draw with markers just because it's, I think, hopefully a little easier to see uh, for you guys to see up on this piece of paper here. Um, I did a video last week, I did a, a live video on Facebook um, where I did a drawing demonstration of, of Red from my book Red and Lulu. So if you guys haven't seen that one, you can um, look up Matt Tavares on Facebook and you should find it there. It's also on um, the Stimola Live YouTube page, so you can find it there. Um, during that drawing demonstration, a few kids asked if I could do one of Dasher. Uh, so today, I'm going to do a reindeer drawing. I'll go step by step how I draw Dasher. Drawing a reindeer is a little more complicated than drawing a bird. They have, you know, they have antlers, they have legs. There's all, I mean, birds have legs, but um, it's a little more complicated. But I think we can still do it the same way where um, I start with simple shapes. I don't worry about details at first, and I kind of build it up until until it, it hopefully ends up looking like a reindeer. So if you guys want to draw along with me, I decided this time instead of doing it live, um, this time I'm, I'm going to try just recording it ahead of time. So that way, as you're drawing, if I go too fast, I mean, I'll try to not go too fast, but if I do, um, you can press pause and catch up and then press play again. Um, because I'm kind of new to this, so I'm not used to drawing and having everyone else uh, drawing along with me. And uh, so I want to make sure I'm going at, at a speed that works for you. Um, now, if you guys make drawings during this, I would love to see them. So if you want to have your parents, um, they could send them to me. They could post them on social media. Um, they, could, they could tag me. I should write that up here, too. They could either do the hashtag uh, draw with Matt, and I'll also write at Tavares Books. Um, kind of messy here. At Tavares Books, pretty much on anything, um, Instagram, Twitter, Facebook. Um, I'm the same thing on all of them. All right, so let's get started. Uh, I'm gonna do a, a, a reindeer drawing. Now, if you saw the, the bird drawing that I did, you might remember, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna say some of the same stuff because Whatever I'm drawing, um, I kind of do it the same way, where I start out with simple shapes. Like, if I'm going to draw a reindeer, I'm not going to stress out right at the beginning about getting, you know, the antlers just right and all the little, the texture of the fur, things like that. I save that for later. Um, so if I'm going to draw a reindeer, I want to start with a big, simple shape for the body of a reindeer. So try to think of what shape you would start with. Now for a bird, we started with an oval. Um, now when I draw a reindeer, I usually start with an oval too. So I'm just gonna nice and easy on the middle of my paper, I'm just gonna draw an oval. I didn't spend a lot of time trying to make sure it was the right shape oval, it's just something to get me started. Um, now these first marks, you'll notice, I'm not pushing down really hard. When, when you draw, you can make a really dark mark if you push down really hard or you can make a lighter line just by letting your your pencil or your marker or your crayon letting it drag along the surface of the paper so that's what I'm doing here so I've got the body shape how about a head think about what a good shape is to start with for a head did you say circle that's what I usually do um, so here's a circle now, if you guys remember, if you, if you did the bird drawing with me last week, this is kind of the same way we started, right? There was the, the oval for the body um, and the circle for the head. Now, a bird body sort of is pointy at the end, so we added the triangle. I'm not going to do that this time. Um, so far, we have a circle and an oval. Now, I want to draw the legs. Now, the easiest way to draw legs right at the beginning is I just make sticks. It's almost like it's a stick, a stick reindeer, like you draw a stick person. So here's the front legs. Just like that, nice and easy. Um, 
Now the, the back legs of a reindeer are a little different. Um, they go kind of out like this. There's one. And then I'm gonna make it look like the reindeer is walking forward. So this other leg is sort of leaning forward like that. I'll give you a second to do that. Hopefully you can see the drawing nice and clear on there. Um, so now this is sort of the beginning. I've got something to build on. Now a reindeer head isn't just a circle, right? It has sort of a, that like the muzzle part that comes out. So I'm going to add a shape onto this head to make it more like a reindeer head. Um, I'm gonna add a square coming out kind of like that. Sort of a rectangle. Not quite a rectangle. So you can do that too. And now we've got a head that's not connected to the body, right? So we have to connect the head to the body with, uh, with the reindeer's neck. So I'm just gonna nice and easy, kind of swoop down like that. Now it's got a neck. Um, now the reindeer's body, this is when I'm gonna start to carve into it with, with details. Like I think of it like if I were a sculptor, I would start with a big block of clay. And at first, you know, I, I'd, I'd sort of make these big, I'd kind of smush it, lop off a big section, but now I start to carve into it with my little carving tools. So like this, this oval, that's not quite the shape of a reindeer body. Um, like the back, it kind of goes up here a little bit. Might be a little bump where like the, almost like the shoulder blades would be. Um, the back might kind of sag down a little bit. And up here, it can kind of go like that. Um, and then it kind of comes right down into the, the leg there. And notice these lines I'm making a little darker. They might show up a little bit better on your screen. Um, same he thing here. I'm going to go over the leg. And where before I kind of just made these lines, now we can kind of get into it with more detail. I'm kind of scribbling away. And when I make a picture like this, I'm not making sure, I'm not worrying about every little mark being perfect. I kind of just keep scribbling away. I'm going slower now because I want to make sure you guys can keep up. But, um, but see, a lot of these marks are just kind of scribbly. And that's okay. Reindeer have a little tail. So now I can add some details. I'll make the belly kind of come down a little bit. So that first oval I made... That kind of gave me something to build on, and, and now I'm see how I'm kind of carving around it. Um, this other leg comes down here. Same thing, I can put those hoof, hoofs down there. Now the front legs are just lines still, right? Uh, reindeer have these very knobby knees, so I'm going to kind of make a big circle there. Let's see, that one should be like around here. Hoof. I'll do the other one. You can do the, the knobby knee. One thing to remember too when you're drawing, don't worry about every mark being perfect. Um, like when I'm, when I'm drawing a picture like this, I don't stop every time something isn't perfect and try to erase it. I can't erase anyway, because this is a marker. But um, I, I just try to go right over it and make another mark. So here I'm gonna start doing the texture of the fur. The reindeer's fur, especially on their, under their chin there, is very furry. So I can just kind of scribble away at that. Um, now let's add some details to the head. A um, few things grow out of the top of the head here. We've got ears. Let's say we're just going to see one ear for now because we're, we're kind of looking at the reindeer from the side. Um, and again, I'm going to go over this with a darker line. I feel like I've got a good shape for the head here now, so I'm going to kind of connect these different shapes with a nice darker line. Now I'm going to put some more details in the face, like that we've got a... Uh, an eye right here. You can see like a nostril, the mouth. Now there's one detail I haven't added that really helps make it look like a reindeer and not some other animal. Um, and that's the antlers. Um, 
Antlers are kind of fun to draw because they can do all different things. They're like branches of a tree. Um, for this one, I'm going to make these look like Dasher's antlers. I'm going to go right off the top here. Dasher's antlers are pretty simple. They're just one goes forward, one goes back, and then there's like a little nub on each one. And you've got another, well, there's, there's a set of them, so there's another one there. This one will go right off the top of the page too. And then maybe you can see a little bit of the other ear on the other side there. So now we have a reindeer. Um, I'm going to add some more details. Let's add some background and make it look like, like Dasher is walking through the snow. So I'm just going to make a line back here. And I'm going to show you guys a little trick if you did the Red and Lulu picture with me. This is similar to that trick. And this is just a way that you can make your picture look like there's space, like it's not just a flat piece of paper. Um, and there are lots of ways to do that, but one way is just to remember the idea that when something is up close, it looks big, and when something's far away, it looks small. Um, so here, I'm going to make a house in the distance. Let's pretend that Dasher is at the North Pole. So here's, here's one of the workshops. Um, so I'm going to draw this house here, and you guys can try to follow along. I just did sort of a, a house shape and then added these extra lines to make it look sort of like a 3D house. Um, and because this house is further away from us, it's going to be bigger on the page, or it's going to be smaller on the page. And Dasher's nice and big. These little shapes, those are going to be like windows, so then you can tell it's, a, it's kind of a big building. It's just really far away. Maybe the door is down here. We'll make a door so people can get in. Maybe I'll add a chimney. Maybe I'll do some more, like some pine trees back here. Do some trees over here too. And these can kind of use your imagination however you want to draw your trees. You know, I feel like Bob Ross, happy trees. Um, and then you can add some stuff in the sky. I'll, maybe I'll make some clouds. And the clouds can be sort of disappearing behind the reindeer, so you can tell they are in the distance. Um, and in Dasher, Dasher always wanted to be on the North Pole um, under the glow of the North Star. So let's pretend maybe it's nighttime. Maybe we see some, some rays coming down from that bright star. All right. I think I'm all done there. Now, the nice thing about this, you have a picture with just lines. If you want, you can color it in. Um, you can either make, maybe those lines are coming from the North Star and it's nighttime and you can make a cool nighttime scene. Um, if you want, you can make, maybe these are coming from the sun and it's the middle of a bright sunny day. You can draw it like that if you want. Um, cool thing about snow, the paper comes that way. It's already white. So if you, um, if you draw all around like this rooftop here, if everything around it has color, but the, the rooftop stays white, it'll look like uh, a snow-covered rooftop. Same thing with the ground. If you draw the background but leave the ground white, it'll look snowy. That's a nice little trick. I love, I love painting snowy scenes, and part of it is like, it's fun to see that, that white paper all of a sudden look like snow. It's kind of magic, where you didn't even do anything. You just, you just drew around it. All right, I think I'll stop there. Um, now, if you guys, if you have drawings, like I said, I would love to see them. I'm gonna put this back down. Um, so if, if you or your parents, if you wanna share your drawings with me, that would be awesome. Um, you can use this hashtag, draw with Matt, um, and then I can search for that and, and see, what, see what you guys post. Um, I hope you had fun. I'll show it one more time. There's our reindeer. I'd love to see what yours looks like. Thank you.